When's the last time you bought something online? How often do you make questionable purchases? If you're one of the 80% of Americans who shop online, then you've probably also experienced this. You're browsing the internet, shopping on Amazon, and before you know it, you're entering your credit card information. Be honest, has this ever happened to you? Wow, I just got paid yesterday. I guess now's a good time to buy some new things. Let's see what deals they have. Oh gosh, all these long mowing equipment is on sale? I could get this battery for $49.99. I mean, I don't quite have a lawn yet, but if I did, this would be really useful. Huh. Let's see. Ooh, let's see what Apple has out now. The new AirPod Tag 4 pack, only $94. That's like $29 per AirTag. Hmm, this is worth it. Online shopping is an unstoppable phenomenon that has swept the world for the past few decades. More so than ever, COVID has made online shopping an absolute necessity. But often our bad shopping habits go unaddressed. Introducing our Google extension, Should I Cough? The next time you're shopping on websites such as Amazon or Apple, whenever you click on an object, a widget will pop up right below where the price is. It gives you comparisons of units that anyone can understand. This battery, instead of being $50, is worth four hours of your time, or 224 bananas, or it could be 302 meals donated. All the options are limitless. It also works on sites such as Apple, giving you units and the comparisons. It's also just one click away from our website, Should I Cop? So instead of spending $60 on something, we give you a more in-depth analysis of what your money is truly worth. There's a bunch of various quirky and unique examples, such as even $996 that could be invested over five years, 1,500 pounds of cement, or $60 towards Malala's fight for girls' education. Our goal is to promote financial literacy and consciousness within people who are shopping online and give them something more real and close to their everyday life that they can compare what they're spending on. 